Ever wondered what the worst places to live in are? Well, you're in for a treat today. This isn't your typical travel guide. Instead of highlighting the breathtaking landscapes and vibrant cultures, we're flipping the script. Today, we're diving into the underbelly of global living, unearthing the spots that are notorious for their less than ideal living conditions. We've sifted through heaps of data, examining factors like crime rates, cost of living, weather conditions, and employment opportunities. We've looked beyond the glossy tourist brochures and Instagram-worthy spots, peering into the realities of daily life in these places. Some of these locations might surprise you, while others may confirm what you've already suspected. But one thing's for sure, this isn't your ordinary countdown. So buckle up and prepare for a journey to the dark side of global living. Stay tuned as we count down the top 10 worst places to live in the world. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the town that's become synonymous with unfavorable the notorious Barrow, Alaska. This frosty frontier town at the very edge of the United States is as isolated as it gets. With a population just shy of 5,000, Barrow is the northernmost city in the United States. The days here are defined by extreme weather conditions, with temperatures often dropping to minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun disappears for two long months in winter, plunging the town into an eerie, perpetual darkness. Add to this the exorbitant cost of living due to the high cost of transporting goods to such a remote locale, and you've got a place that certainly isn't for everyone. But it's not all gloom and doom. The strong sense of community and the spectacular northern lights do provide some consolation. A tough spot indeed, but we're just getting started. Moving along, the ninth worst place to live in is a bustling city that never sleeps. Sounds fun, right? Well, not quite. Imagine being constantly surrounded by skyscrapers that block the sun, traffic that honks at all hours, and air thick with pollution. The cost of living is sky high, with the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment being more than most people's monthly salary. And let's not forget the overcrowded public transportation, where you're lucky if you can squeeze in. There's a distinct lack of green spaces, with the few parks that exist often packed with people. The city's public services leave much to be desired, with the healthcare system being particularly strained. The crime rate is also higher than the national average, making safety a significant concern. So, while the bright lights might be alluring, the reality is far from the dream. Onward we go, it gets worse. Next up, we have a trio of locations that you might want to think twice about. First on our list for this segment is the eighth worst place to live, the bustling city of Los Angeles, California. Now, before you gasp in disbelief, let's dive into the reasons. Los Angeles, also known as the City of Angels, is undoubtedly known for its glitz and glamour, but beneath the surface, it has a dark side. The city's high cost of living coupled with its infamous traffic congestion and pollution, makes it an unfavorable place to settle down. Next, we have the seventh worst place to live, and it's none other than the Motor City itself, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit has a rich history, being home to Motown music and the automobile industry. But, unfortunately, it's also infamous for its high crime rates and struggling economy. Detroit's unemployment rate is one of the highest in the nation, making it difficult for its residents to make ends meet. Moving on to the sixth spot, we land in the sunny state of Florida, specifically in Miami. Now, you might be thinking, Miami, but it's a paradise. Yes, Miami is indeed a popular vacation destination with its stunning beaches and lively nightlife. However, living there is a different story. Miami is plagued by sea level rise due to climate change, making it prone to regular flooding. Additionally, the city's high cost of living and low median income make it a challenging place to live for many. These three places, each unique in their own right, share a common thread. They present significant challenges to their residents. From high costs of living and environmental threats to high crime rates and struggling economies, these cities offer a harsh reality beneath their appealing exteriors. These places certainly make you appreciate home, but brace yourselves. The top five are coming up. Breaking into the top five, the fifth worst place is, drum roll please, the city of Miseryville. Now don't let the name fool you into thinking it's all just a dark joke. Miseryville, unfortunately, 
lives up to its moniker. It's a city that's been grappling with a spiraling economy, skyrocketing unemployment rates, and a steadily dwindling population for the past two decades. Sadly, Miseryville isn't just economically unfortunate, it's also geographically challenged, being situated in a region prone to severe weather conditions like hurricanes, blizzards, and heat waves. These natural disasters frequently disrupt life and make living conditions even harder. And if the economic and environmental factors weren't enough, the city also has a high crime rate, adding to the list of reasons why it's not an ideal place to move to. We're into the top five now, and it's not looking pretty. Let's see what the next four places have in store for us. Coming in at number four is a location that may surprise you. Nestled in the heart of a continent, this city appears to be a bustling metropolis brimming with culture, history, and innovation. But, as the saying goes, looks can be deceiving. This city, despite its outward charm, is plagued by a host of issues that make it a less than ideal place to move to. From an economic standpoint, the city is struggling. High unemployment rates and a stagnant economy have left many residents scrambling to make ends meet. The cost of living is high with skyrocketing rents and expensive commodities becoming the norm rather than the exception. Furthermore, the city's public transportation system leaves much to be desired. Frequent delays, overcrowded trains, and poorly maintained infrastructure make commuting a daily ordeal for its inhabitants. But it's not just the tangible aspects that make this city a tough place to live. The general atmosphere is one of disillusionment and frustration. Hold on tight. The top three are up next. Here we are, the top three worst places to live in the world. Starting at number three, let's travel to the heart of Eastern Europe, to a place that might make your heart skip a beat. Chernobyl, Ukraine. Yes, the site of the infamous 1986 nuclear disaster. While the ghost town of Pripyat, abandoned overnight after the meltdown, has become a dark tourist attraction, living here is a different story. The area still suffers from high levels of radiation, making long-term habitation risky. And let's not forget about the exclusion zone's eerie silence, broken only by the rustle of wind or the call of a lone bird. Chernobyl, it's a haunting reminder of human error and a testament to the power of nature to reclaim what was once hers. Moving on to number two, we journey to the heart of Africa, to the war-torn land of South Sudan. Since gaining independence in 2011, South Sudan has been plagued by civil war, causing a massive humanitarian crisis. The unstable political climate, coupled with severe food shortages, make this a challenging place to call home. Despite the resilience and spirit of its people, South Sudan remains a place where survival is a daily struggle. And now, we've reached the number one spot. The absolute worst place to live in the world, according to our criteria, is North Sentinel Island, India. Home to the Sentinelese, one of the last uncontacted tribes in the world, this island is off limits to outsiders. The Sentinelese have made it clear they want no contact with the outside world, often violently repelling any attempts at interaction. This makes North Sentinel Island not just an unfavorable place to live, but a deadly one. Even if you manage to evade the Sentinelese, you'd be left to survive without modern conveniences in a harsh tropical environment. North Sentinel Island, a place where the past and the present collide, and where the outside world is unwelcome. And there you have it, the top three worst places to live in the world. From the haunting landscapes of Chernobyl, through the harsh realities of life in South Sudan, to the forbidden shores of North Sentinel Island, these places serve as stark reminders of the diverse challenges faced by humanity in different corners of our planet. They remind us of the importance of peace, environmental protection, and respect for cultural diversity. And perhaps, they make us appreciate our own homes a little bit more. So, there you have it. The top 10 worst places to live. We've journeyed through locations that, for various reasons, have earned an unfortunate reputation. From the 10th place, with its challenging climate and lack of amenities, to the ninth spot, notorious for its high crime rate. We've also covered places eight, seven, and six, each with their unique set of issues, ranging from economic instability to poor infrastructure. The fifth place on our list stood out for its environmental challenges. 
while the fourth was marked by its high cost of living. Lastly, we delved into the top three worst places to live, each one standing out for a different reason, be it political instability, health risks, or severe living conditions. We encourage you to share your thoughts on these places. Perhaps you have personal experiences or insights to add. Thanks for watching, and remember, home is what you make it, no matter where you are.